All right, guys, back at it again today with ClipFlow. So I'll give you a quick run through what we're gonna do. So I'm busy setting up, last time you could see we've got all these ideas here. We've set up the modal so that it works. It's all dark mode, light mode, up to there. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the ability to add in a new idea with a great description, right? And then from there, we're gonna save that and then we're gonna append it down here, close the modal. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is have a look here in the ideas index file. So you can see here we've got this ideas div ID. All right, so we're gonna wanna stream our fields or our items, I should say our ideas straight into this, right? So we need this because when we create a new idea, we want it to be appended, or sorry, prepended. So at the top of, most, oh, actually we'll probably append it at the bottom of this list here, all right? So as you create a new idea, we want it to show up down the bottom here. Okay, so we need this ID here. All right, so the next piece that we need to do as well, is let's get this form actually working. So this is going to be, I'm gonna create the new idea, it's gonna be adding form functionality with turbo, do a Rails vid on this. All right, we're gonna hit create, this is gonna fail. All right, so we've got a forbidden attributes error. So let's fix that. So with Rails, again, remembering we need to jump into app contro uh, controllers, not components, controllers, ideas controller. Scroll down to the bottom here, if we've generated. And so we're gonna fetch, and then we're gonna permit here, we're gonna go title and description. That's what we wanna permit. And let's just have a look inside of our DB quickly. Clip flow, problem when you have a lot of things going on here. So we've got, Channel ID is also important here, but we can grab that automatically. Title and description and then user ID. We won't submit the user ID, we'll do that when we create. So let's just go here to the create right now. And we're gonna go idea.user equals current.user, right? So you have to be logged in to create one and we're just gonna set it to whoever is logged in. Let's have a look at the model quickly in idea and we have belongs to user, so that's all good. Now, with the create, we need to submit um, the channel in it as well. So what we're gonna need to do here is probably have a hidden field in here with the actual channel. So let's see if we can grab that from the URL. So what I'm gonna do inside of this ideas form, I'm just gonna do a quick render here. I'm just gonna say params, and then let's just see if we can get channel. We're probably not gonna actually get this. So let's just have a look at how this form's rendering. So if you go back, we're rendering the ideas new. If you, I don't know if you can see it down the bottom, but it's ideas slash new. We need to grab this channel slug and pass it through to here so that we know what we're actually doing, all right? So to do that, we need to go into our ideas index and then we need to add this button component, right? So we've got that here. So we're rendering into the modal portal, but the path is here, the href. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna enter these down for formatting so we can see them easier and just do that. And then what we're gonna do, so let me just pump that in there, great. And then what we're gonna do here is we can say channel slug, right? And then we're gonna go params, I believe we called it channel slug as well. Let's just have a look. So now it's very small down the bottom, but we have now the ideas slash new question mark. So the query param channel slug equals fit for production. So we're gonna pass that through to the new screen, right? And then that's now what we can do inside the form. So if we have the form here, what I'm gonna do is when we render this form, I'm just gonna put it just above here, this title. I'm just gonna render out. Um, the param. So I'm gonna go params, channel slug. All right, let's see what that does. There we go. Okay, so we now have that sitting right there for us. If we removed it, let's see if it works. If we take away this piece here, so we don't pass it through, refresh, it's empty, okay? Because what's happening is we're actually rendering a new view but we're just injecting whatever's coming through that into a frame. So we need to pass through that parameter to that view so it knows what we're talking about. So we do that by appending a query param here and then it knows contextually, hey, 
we're in fit for production, all right? So we can then use this. So now we can pass this through. So what I'll do here is we'll render a form.hidden. Just check, it's called form, not f. So it's form.hidden. And then we're gonna pass through the value that we need to do there, all right? So to pass through the thing, it's, it's form.hidden field. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say channel slug. And then the value will be params channel slug, okay? Now, if we refresh this, we can actually get rid of this now. We don't need that. And then we go here. Now we run this. Now, if we look inside the source code right over here, you're going to see we've got this input here, fit for production, order complete off, type hidden. And then let me just close this guy. Name, idea, channel slug, and, we're, and the ID is ID channel slug, all right? So we are now sending, gonna send that up and that'll hit our controller, all right? So let's go and use this now. So what we're going to say, I'm just going to say in here, I'm going to log it out so we can all see. And then we're just going to go put params. So this isn't a permitted value because it's not actually on the model of the idea. We're going to then do a lookup for that channel using that slug. Okay, so we've done that. Now if we just, let's just refresh, make sure we're all good. So we're going to say new idea and description. I probably want to turn off autocomplete on that title there. Now, if I just pull up the terminal, all right, clear it out so we can all see, hit create. All right, so now what do we have? You can see the params coming up. We've got the idea title description. It's saying unpermitted parameter channel slug, which is fine. Um, and that is fit for production there. And the channel slug here is empty coming through as null, but that's because it needs to actually be, sorry, dig, and then this is idea comma channel slug. That's going to be the guy. So let's do it. Go here. You actually saw the error there as well, all right? So we saw it at the top of that. We saw the little error come up. It says needs a channel. So we just submit that again. Here we go. Two channels, ah, uh, sorry. Two errors prohibited this idea from being saved. Channel must exist and title can't be blank. All right, so we need to probably tidy these errors up a little bit, I think, just to make this look nice. Let's just see if we can do this. I just want to see if it maintains. So it does maintain the state here, so which is really good for us, We're not losing what we've done. So we just can tidy this up. So channel must exist. All right, so what we're going to do here now, I might actually change this to idea.attributes, and then I'm going to open this up. I'm going to say user is current user. All right, so that's the current user. And then in here, we're going to say channel, and this is going to be channel so really what we want to do here actually is want us to be policy scope, right? Because we want to only allow you to see channels that you actually belong to. And then from there, we're going to scope those down. So it'll be scope there. And then we're going to say find by slug is this guy. All right. So we're going to say that comma. Now we've just introduced a little bit of authorization here. Okay. This guy right over here. So let us see. So we do we have we have not installed authorization yet. So before complicating it, I'm just going to do this. Okay, but knowing in the future, we need to add policy scoping, you cannot create an idea for a channel that you do not belong to. Okay, so we don't want that at all. Okay, so we've done that. Now, let's jump back here. Now we've changed that code to look up the channel and we have passed through fit for production. If I hit create now, we shouldn't see this error anymore still saying it so what is going on slug is params idea slug let's just ref i just want to refresh that and just test this there we go okay so it is picking that up now it's just saying title can't be blank so we don't have the channel can't be blank anymore let's just resubmit it so what's happening here is because we're now when we render this again we're actually if it fails we're just redirecting to new uh, to the new page here we're just rendering the new we actually have to make sure that it is picking up the params again because this is now just sending it straight back to new and it's not actually rendering the new question mark with the query param so we need to actually make sure it actually sends that back through again all right so let's see how we can do that to make sure that it, it does maintain that state so what I want to check first is I want to just render out here and I'm going to say, what is idea? I just want to literally just put 
idea dot um, channel ID. All right, let's see if that does anything. So let's render. So at the moment, it'll be nothing. If we create, you can see it's set to one. So it knows that it is set to channel ID one. So what we can do here is actually, we're permitting that there. We can actually send this up now as well as a hidden field. So we can either send a slug or we can send an ID. So I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna say, this is equal to channel ID, right? Idea.channelID. ID. So if it's currently set, so when we fail a validation, it is already set. So we have that value there. So, I mean, what we can even do to make this a little bit easier to understand is we can say here, we can say idea.channel, dot slug or that okay so if the channel is already set we're going to just pass the slug up so let's see what happens here if we inspect this now and refresh it so we're going to go here we're going to go test it's going to fail but now if we look inside of this here you can see that our channel slug is still set to the value okay so what we're doing is because when we create this up here we're setting this we're still having that we still have that model available to our front end. So it knows that's there. So it's injecting that back in. And then we can use that to set the slug again. And then when we're first starting, we don't have, we haven't submitted. So we're just gonna use the one from the slug. All right, so that's what we're doing there. All right, so we've solved that channel issue. Now we know the title is the only thing left. So I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna go test idea. And that I'm gonna leave blank because I don't think that's required. And we're gonna hit, I mean, let's just say description. All right, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to hit create now. So that's trying to inject something here. But if we refresh this page, there you can see that we have created. All right. So now what we can do here is we're going to create a turbo stream value. So if it's successful, we want to then go and inject that into the right ID in this index space. So that is going to be in here. We want to inject that into there. So let's do that. Okay. So to do that, we're now going to have a new format here. We're going to have format dot turbo stream, right? And we're going to open that up. And then what does that do? That renders, right? And that's going to say a turbo stream here. And it's going to say turbo stream dot append, right? Open that up. And then the first piece is the ID. So this is the ID, right? That's where we're going. Then what we're going to say is what partial are we going to use here? Like what piece of data are we going to actually inject? And then what locals are we going to pass through? Okay, so that's what a turbo stream component looks like. So the first thing is we're going to send an idea, which will be this. That's going to be the data we're going to be using. Then our idea partial, right? So we set this up here, right? So this lives in ideas, idea there. So the ideas slash idea and then we're injecting this data in there. But then the ID, right? So what is the ID? The idea is the idea here. So we're gonna shove it into, right into there, okay? Now let's give that a spin and see if that works. So we've added that and that looks all good. Let's give this a go and see what happens. So we're gonna go new content. I'm gonna say turbo idea, really cool thing I must talk about. I'm going to hit create and nothing happened. So let's see what happened. So it did, did create it, but for, for some reason, I'm probably missing something. We just, we haven't got, I probably, I know I probably have to add something to the form as well. So one thing I just want to quickly check, I think you're not meant to have that there. You're not meant to actually have the DOM style thing. So I'm just going to say, you can see the turbo idea has been created down the bottom there. And then we're gonna say, is it working? Create, there we go. You can see that? So that just went straight in there, bang. The only thing that is left to do now is actually close this modal once it's been inserted. To close this modal once we're finished with it, we're gonna add an event listener and we're gonna to listen to turbo.submit end, all right? And then inside that event, we're gonna console log. And you can see now, when we're getting that custom event, we're getting a detail and we're getting success true, right? So when success is true, so event detail success, when that happens, we're going to hide this modal. Now we don't have the modal hide function, so we can just say, um, delete that, get rid of this. 
And what do we do normally? Normally what we do is we hit the slide out and the remove. So what we can do here is we can call slide out, right? And we're gonna say remove, all right? So I might just put that there because we might not have an event. Don't think we use the event anywhere else. Nope. So we can then just remove that and let's just see if this works, all right? So refresh, test, test, create, boom. There we go, modal shuts. And did you see that little thing happen? So what I'll do here, let's just quickly delete, delete. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new idea. I'm gonna refresh the page, make sure we're on a blank um, slate. New idea, we're gonna grab up this, the one that I deleted before, start up insider. And then we're gonna add a little description here. And we're gonna hit create idea. Boom, start up insider, modal closed, away we go. So relatively simple to add that to a modal. So we're just listening here. And as soon as this is submitted, we check if it was successful, if it was, we remove. We don't wanna remove it if it wasn't successful, all right? So there we have it, that is it. So that's what we've now got a fully functioning modal. We can add new ideas, we can create them, they get put in here. So then later on, what we'll do is we'll be able to sort these guys. But for now, I think that's it. So we'll catch you on the next one.